Hey everyone, welcome to my channel where I give bookkeeping and tax tips to entrepreneurs and small business owners. My name is Christian Brooks. I'm the owner of Brooks Bookkeeping and Accounting Services. And in today's video, I am going to tell you something that you can do to maximize your credits and deductions as you prepare for tax season. Before we get into the video, I wanna tell you about my financial health quiz. So I created a financial health quiz to help small businesses and entrepreneurs gauge the financial health of their organizations. You'll be able to get some insights on your business as well as a seven-step guide on how to build a financially healthier business. Alrighty, let's get into the video. So every year I find that my clients have done a lot of things throughout the year that affect their taxes. And a lot of the times my clients have forgotten the things that they've done throughout the year. And because they've forgotten this stuff, they're leaving a lot of tax credits and deductions on the table potentially. So here is something that you can do to make sure you are maximizing your credits and deductions. Get out a piece of paper and write down everything that you did in 2023. Now, this doesn't need to be a super detailed list. It can be very high level. Like in January, I donated clothes. In February, I bought a new car. In March, I bought an appliance. Write down anything that you did that was a major life change, um, if you spent a large sum of money, if you donated a large sum of money, if you donated clothes or furniture, write those things down. And then you are gonna give that paper to your tax preparer. Your tax preparer should be able to look through that list and see if there are any credits or deductions that you could potentially get. For example, if my client gave me a list that said in June, I bought a new car. Well, there are a couple things that we could potentially do. I'm going to ask, was this an electric vehicle? Because if it was an electric vehicle, then my client could potentially qualify for the electric vehicle credit. But if it was not an electric vehicle, okay, well, sales tax. You can write off your sales tax. When you are buying things throughout the year, keep track of the amount of money you are paying in sales tax because you can write off your sales tax. You can write off either your state taxes or your sales tax, whichever one is higher. These are two potential tax strategies that my client could benefit from, but I wouldn't know it if they didn't tell me. So write down a list of things that you have done throughout the year and give it to your tax preparer. Sit down and talk through the list with them and they could potentially find some credits and deductions for you. And that brings me into my next point. Make sure you have a good tax preparer. Right now, we are preparing for tax season. So now is the time that you should be reaching out to different tax preparers to interview them, so to speak. Ask them about their credentials. What credentials have they gotten? What education have they gotten to make sure that they are up to date on tax law? Ask them for reviews, potentially. What are other clients saying about them? And ask them what their specialty is. Most tax preparers who have a specialty. I specialize in individual and small business taxes. You have some people who only do individual taxes. You have some people who only do big corporations. You have people who specialize in real estate. They specialize in rental properties, investments. You have some people who specialize in LLCs. So you want to talk to the tax preparer to make sure that it is a, a good fit for you. You all have some synergy, but they also are specializing in the things that you need when it comes to your tax. So I just want to come on and tell you really quickly, be wary of tax preparers who boast about getting these big refunds because they are more than likely doing something illegal to get you those big refunds. I recently had a client come to me who went to somebody who, again, boasted about getting super huge refunds. She did get a big refund. However, her tax return was selected for audit. And when she got audited by the IRS, she could not substantiate any of the things that she claimed on her tax return. Not only does she have to pay back all of that money, she also has a lot of penalties that she has to pay because of her fraudulent tax return. So be be wary, um, be vigilant, and make sure that you are doing research on your tax preparer. And when your tax preparer is preparing your tax return, don't just sign off on it. 
actually look through the tax return and make sure that you understand everything that is on there because when you are signing your tax return, you are certifying that everything on there is accurate. So if it's not accurate, it is on you unless you can prove that your tax preparer did something salacious or put something on there without your knowing. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or need help with your taxes, feel free to reach out to me at www.christianannbrooks.com. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.